As you're doing this, we're going to be talking about putting multiple sheets into one DGN lib. And if you listen to some of my old videos I did several years ago, I said, well, if you mess up, you got to delete the DGN lib, start over. And you're like, oh man, what if I put 50 into this and now I got to start over? Well, we want to make a backup process. In the very, very early days of ORD, there were ways that you could corrupt this DGN lib. I'm not saying you can't corrupt it now. You'd have to work really hard at it. One of the things that you can do to corrupt these DGN libs is to use the back or the undo command. And so I do have a couple of slides in there dedicated to just don't do that. Don't try it. So anyway, I do like the backup process uh, simply because if I'm going to make, you know, a couple hundred of these, not that you'll be doing that. And that's kind of a rare circumstance. But we do have a, f a couple of agencies out here that have a lot of these. Just, uh, for example, the Army Corps, they're international. And so they've got hundreds. but. Uh, you know, it's a good idea to back this up as you're going, uh, you know, make one in, make a copy of it, rename it to the next name or whatever, you know, with the numbering sequence, however you want to do it. But I do strongly suggest that if you're going to put all of them in one DGN lib to use a backup process as you're going, just in case. Okay. And also just a couple points here. It's rare to see a corrupted file. We talked about that. Back up. Make sure to only allow trained individuals right access to this critical workspace file. Not everybody should be working and messing around in this file. If you haven't been trained, you do not need to be in this file. I uh, remember to restart the product each time after creating the next DG and lib. If you try to just, you know, do a file save as and proceed to, you know, your next uh, named file and then you go to create your name boundaries and your sheet seeds in that next file, you're going to get to that second dialogue and it's not going to let you put in your information properly. So you do need to actually exit the product and come back in between each new file. That's just an important little tip. So we're going to just take a quick look at this, pretty quick video. I'm going to do like a file save as here. We had this all sheet start, and I'm going to give this a new name, however you want to do it. I just put a suggestion in here for you to think about. You know, basically when you get to the end, all of these backups can go away, right, if you're going to put everything in one file. But I say, okay, this is the first one I'm going to create. It's going to be a plan sheet uh, at a 50 scale. If you don't want to do your plan sheets by scales and you just want to make one for all plan sheets, that's possible as well. And so we'll go ahead and open that up. And that's pretty much it for this video, right? It's all about making that backup. And the only thing is, if I were to now go in and start making this, I would need to exit and come back in. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.